If you are a public school teacher or an aspiring public school teacher, this video is for you. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated on the latest in the Department of Education. But before that, shout out muna tayo kay Sir Jay Manapol. Um, please subscribe on his channel, Mapa Hero, if you want updates and learning resources. So for today's video, we will answer the frequently asked questions on the alternative classroom observations in time of COVID-19 pandemic for the school year 2020-2021. Watch the full video for you to be guided on what to do on your classroom observations for this school year 2021. Alright, so here are frequently asked questions on the alternative classroom observations for the RPMS for the school year 2020-2021. We will provide answers for you to be guided on what to do on your classroom observations. So what are the alternative classroom observations for school year 2021? So there are three modes of observation for this school year. Namely, option 1, we have online observation. Option 2, we have observation of a video lesson. And the third option is observation of a demonstration teaching via learning action cell. So among the three options, who or what will determine the mode of observation? So the modality adopted by the teacher will determine the mode of observation. So it will depend on what modality or learning modalities your school is implementing. I will adopt two to three learning modalities or the blended learning for the school year. What do I consider for observation? If online synchronous is one of your modalities, you are to take option one or the online observation as the sole mode of your observation. If online asynchronous is one of your modalities and online synchronous is not possible, you are to take option 2 which is the observation of a video lesson. And if online learning, either synchronous or asynchronous, is neither of your modalities, you will take option 3 that is an observation of a demonstration teaching via your learning action cell. So those who are implementing pure modular learning modality that either in print or in digital, you are to take option 3 which is an observation of a demonstration teaching via learning action cell. Can I shift between the three modes of observation? The answer is no. You can only use only one mode of observation for the entire year. So this school year, we are required to have two classroom observations. So those two classroom observations should be of the same mode of observation. So if you chose observation via demonstration teaching via learning action cell, those two observations should be a demonstration teaching via learning action cell. What if I only have one online class with five learners in a week? Does online observation apply to me? The answer is yes. Online observation applies to teachers adopting online synchronous learning regardless of the number of classes and learners. So what is this online synchronous learning? Synchronous learning is online or distance education that happens in real time, often with a set class schedule and require login times. So in this Online learning, teacher and students has a real-time interaction. So there is a scheduled day and time of the online class wherein students and teachers are required to log in. Does online observation apply to blended learning? The answer is yes, as long as online synchronous learning is one of your modalities in blended learning. What if my online class was cut off due to intermittent internet connection during my scheduled observation? Can I reschedule the online observation? The answer is yes, you can reschedule the observation with your observer or observers. Other factors outside the performance of the teacher such as poor internet connection and sudden power outage should not be graded at, against the teacher. Can I submit a recording of my online teaching if my internet is perennially unstable? The answer is yes. 
this can be discussed with your observers. So it depends on the agreement between you and your observer or observers during your pre-observation conference. I don't know how to create a video lesson. How do I create a video lesson? You can record yourself by teaching a lesson using any video recording device. That means you can utilize your mobile phones as your video recording device. I already have a video lesson but it is not used in any of my class. Can I still submit it? The answer is no. Your video lesson must have been used in your lesson delivery as part of your supplementary materials or as one of your learning materials for online asynchronous learning. Is the video lesson used for TV-based instruction? The answer is no. The video lesson is a teacher-made learning material used for online asynchronous learning. Now, how do I let my observers access my video lesson intended for observation? You can give your observers access to the storage cloud or the Google Drive you have or any storage device you have, example, your flash drive, where the video lesson is saved. You can also give access to your online classroom, example, Google Classroom, or a learning management system where the video lesson is uploaded. In what learning modality does observation of a demonstration teaching via learning action cell apply? This mode of observation applies to purely modular learning, either in print or digital, or for radio-based instruction and TV-based instructions. So those teachers or schools who are implementing pure modular learning modality will have observation of a demonstration teaching via learning action cell. So why is LAC utilized for teaching observation? This may be the best time to use learning action cell as an opportunity for both the ratees and observers to discuss collegially strategies in improving the teaching and learning processes, especially in addressing challenges in learning delivery brought by this COVID-19 pandemic. So there you go, fellow teachers. I hope you are guided by this video. And if you have questions on the alternative classroom observations for the RPMS, please don't hesitate to write it in the comment box. And please like and subscribe on this channel for more updates or latest news on the Department of Education. Thank you for watching. I hope you are guided by this video. God bless in your classroom observations. Stay safe.